New Year is right around the corner and it's hard to think of a better time to make cocktails with sparkling wine. Ah, sparkling wine, the bubbly elixir that turns any occasion into a celebration. And there are plenty of cocktails with sparkling wine to choose from, but I didn't want to make the obvious Aperol Spritz, Mimosa or Bellini, it would be too easy and uninspired. Instead I'm going to make Negroni's Bagliato, French 75, Pond Star Highball and Lita Grey. But first a message from our sponsor. Oh wait, that's you. If you want to support my channel, become a patron or join the YouTube membership. Thanks a lot. There are many types of sparkling wine and for today's cocktails you can use Prosecco, Champagne or basically any other sparkling wine which is dry and crispy. But I have a half bottle of Cava, so that's what I'm going to use. Let's start with the Negroni's Bagliato or Mistaken Negroni. It is the go-to choice for a lighter crispy twist on the classic Negroni when you want lower alcohol. Instead of the traditional equal parts gin, Campari and sweet vermouth, this variation swaps gin for Prosecco or another sparkling wine. The drink originated in 1967 in Milan's bar Basso, created by the late Mirko Stocetto, who, despite its name, saw the accidental combination of Prosecco instead of gin as a stroke of genius on a sunny day. I'm gonna make this cocktail directly in the wine glass, to which we're gonna add Campari, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, Sweet Vermouth, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, fill the glass with ice, stir a little to chill and dilute, and top up with sparkling wine, about 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, garnish with an orange peel, And this is how you make Negroni's Bagliato. It sits between an Americano, soda instead of gin, and a foolproof Negroni on the alcohol spectrum. It is the ideal drink for aperitivo hour at any time you crave a balanced cocktail. Cheers. Mm. The next cocktail is another classic, French 75, which pays homage to the swift firing 75mm field gun used by the French in World War I. Similar to many classic cocktails, the origins of the French 75 are shrouded in mystery and ongoing debate. According to drinks historian David Wondrich, the recipe made its debut in 1927, during the Prohibition era, in a book titled Here's How, published by a New York humor magazine. But the cocktail gained lasting fame in 1930, where Harry Craddock featured it in the Savoy cocktail book, ensuring the French 75's popularity in bars and homes worldwide. The cocktail is shaken, and to the shaker we're gonna add a good quality gin, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. For those who still don't know, simple syrup is one part sugar to one part water. Fill the shaker with ice, and shake it vigorously, dedicating this shake to this comment. Find strength to the cocktail glass and top up with champagne or other sparkling wine. About 3 ounces, 90 milliliters. Garnish with a lemon peel. And this is how you make French 75 the most classic cocktail of the sparkling one genre. It's sweet and sour, refreshing and pretty strong, so be careful. Next one is my favorite, Porn Star Highball. Created by Russian bartender Yevgeny Alimerzoev, this one is a twist on the famous Porn Star Martini, but is much easier to make. Instead of using separate glasses, one for sparkling wine and the other for the rest of the cocktail, it's made directly in one highball glass. And you don't need passion fruit liqueur for it, which, let's admit it, not everybody has. The first thing we're gonna need is passion fruit puree. You can use frozen, but don't forget to unfreeze it first. 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. Vodka, or you can use vanilla vodka instead. To make it, all you need to do is take a vanilla pot, cut it lengthwise and put it in a bottle of regular vodka for a few hours or overnight. But why bother if you are going to use vanilla syrup anyway and it's going to provide the vanilla flavor. So regular vodka, two thirds of an ounce, 20 milliliters. Vanilla syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Stir to mix it all up. Fill the glass with ice. And top up with sparkling wine, about three ounces, 90 milliliters. Garnish with an orange slice. And this is how you make Pond Star Highball. A great twist on the Pond Star Martini, 
easier to make. You don't really need the passion fruit liqueur because the passion fruit taste comes from the puree. Very refreshing and pretty festive. The next one is Lita Grey. While that may not be a household name in classic cinema, her connection to one of the industry's giants certainly is. While that name may not sound familiar to you, it was the second 15-year-old Charlie Chaplin's wife. And she graced the screen in three of his films during their brief marriage. A nod to this actress comes in form of a recipe from Peche in Austin, Texas. And despite its contemporary origins, the drink has the same classic charm found in the early 20th century beverages. This concoction also echoes the iconic Charlie Chaplin cocktail, blending slow gin and apricot brandy liqueur to maintain a link to the renowned couple. It is a stronger cocktail than the others today, so be careful. It is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add gin, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Apricot brandy liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Slow gin, also half an ounce, 15 milliliters. As you all should know by now, slow gin is not gin, but rather a gin-based liqueur. And freshly squeezed lemon juice, also half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the cocktail glass and top up with sparkling wine, about one and a half ounce. And this is how you make Lita Grey. It resembles the Charlie Chaplin cocktail, which I have already made, and I recommend to drink it in small volumes, just like an aperitivo before the meal. It's full of flavors and great for winter time. And that's all I have for today. Check out my other videos like this one about beer cocktails or cocktails with beer or this one on my top 10 favorite cocktails including the Porn Star Martini. And as always subscribe to my Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Patreon, subscribe to my everything YouTube membership. Cheers. До свидос.